hello in this video we'll look at the sql injection we'll try to understand how it works and the the threat it poses on our application the application that we made here i am showing you a sample application i just made which is running on the local host uh, and, and and it's really easy to launch sql injection for badly written scripts please be aware that getting the unauthorized access is a serious offense and you cannot get away with that it's really easy to track you down to look at you from where you did this and who you are we leave all the digital footprint every time so it's really easy to pinpoint who did this so don't try this it's also uh, ban or strictly prohibited in our country as well in all the countries okay it's just for the learning purposes so first let me I try the username I know so the username is John and the password is Rambo let's try this okay so I got the access this is as simple as it gets but what if I don't know the password I know the username but I don't know the password uh, then I can simply try the SQL injection uh, I will type the username John and single quote to complete my clause in the query because I know uh, this is a very bad written one and then I want to comment rest of the query I can type anything in password I just click on login and I got logged in why this is happening so here is the query uh, which is select static from username where username is equal to whatever the value is passed from the post the form we are posting and the password in the field which is password here is our form which contain the username field and the password field when we click on the login button this is what posted to the login.php page here we just run this query so john will be placed like this and password will be transformed first into alphanumeric string and then will be placed in the password field and this query will be then executed on mysql or whatever the database is here and uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, apply or we are we are trying to do sql injection by just doing putting single quote and then space and then this semicolon what semicolon will does is it will comment the rest of the query so this part of the query will not be executed only the first part which is select static from uh, the user where username is john that's it okay so uh, it will be executed and then we get the access as we can see here so this is the bad poorly written code and vulnerable to uh, malicious user right uh, so this is the attack this was the problem one more thing i will show you let's say i don't know the username i can type anything where it will try to match if the username is police or one is equal to one this will always be true so it will return at least one record whatever the record is it will return just one record and then it will comment the rest of the query here i type anything press login button and i got the access as an agent 47 because it just written one record that's how the query is written how it will happen is we type here so that's how this query will be executed only this part will be executed where it tried to get a user where its username is police or one is equal to one this is the condition which will always be true and it will return at least one record and that's how we got uh, logged in as an agent 47 please be aware that getting unauthorized access is a serious offense even if you have shipped some code to some client and they are running your code you even cannot access that so whenever you have to try these you have to get the permission you have to get the contract signed where you are telling them i'm trying to find the bugs or the vulnerability into your system once that is approved then only you can have that access thank you take care bye